I'm the boss lady. The Kelly Allen Show. Watch out, let's go. All about your life, her info's always tight. Talking just to get inside. Gospel talking, Bible walking, wanna help you see. Faith is calling, and she's walking with the victory. The king is on her side, and she never quits. Put you on the show, and you reminisce. Creative to the point where she's making hits. Business savvy is a Kelly. Are you kidding this? I'm like this. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. We have the amazing Shirley Murdoch, everybody, the legend here joining us on Positive Power Double XI, your new host, Kelly Holland. I have my own show. Praise God for that. But thank you, everyone. And welcome, Miss Shirley Murdoch. How are you doing today? I'm good, baby. Won't he do it? Won't he will? Won't he will? <laughs> Won't he will? <laughs> <laughs> will he won't? <laughs> Congratulations, sweetheart. Thank you so much for uh, being here tonight. Please let our listeners know, especially us. Um, I'm sorry, we was born in the 80s. I'm so sorry. Please let us know <laughs> <laughs> who you are and what it is that you've done, honey. Your list goes on and on, but refresh oh, okay. us, please. Okay, well, my name is Shirley Murdoch and I grew up in Toledo, Ohio. I've been in the business for over 35 years. I was discovered by the late, great Roger Troutman and it's been a wonderful journey, um, you know, coming from coming from gospel and be able to take this voice that God has given me and, and seeing my dreams come true. You know, uh, sitting in, a, in front of, in front of of a black and white TV in Toledo, watch a little curly haired white girl by the name of Shirley Temple singing right. on the Good Ship Lollipop. See, I know you're too young for that, but no, I got it. <laughs> okay, so I saw myself because I, I I saw that she could sing and she could dance and she can act. And as a young girl, I, I saw myself and said, "Wow." One day that's going to be me. So that was really a glimpse of my future self. And when you think about that, God gives all of us a dream. And it's that little glimpse that, that of, of your future self that gnaws at you, that hangs on, it won't let you go. No matter what's going on, you wake up thinking about it, you go to bed thinking about it. No, makes no difference what, where your journey takes you, but that's always somewhere in the back of your mind. And that's your dream talking to you. But over the years, yeah. I've seen many of my dreams come true for being able to share my gift with the world, um, which opened the door for doing stage plays, which opened the door for film. So I, I've really been absolutely blessed in my life, Kelly. God bless you and all of your talents. And thank you again for sharing with us. You know, I'm a little intimidated here. I got to be honest with you, family. Why? There's a legend on my show. Are you oh, crazy? come on. Oh, come on now. <laughs> see, okay, okay. Check this. I just see me as me. So just see me as me. It was all, it's all good, okay? Well, I'm honored me, to be Lord. here on your show. Humble this me. is your show. Humble so me, So thank Lord. you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the inspiration. I really appreciate you. And you are beautiful. And you thank have been you. in the, you are welcome. Having been in the business for over 30 plus years, you, you know all the ins and outs. You know how things used to go, how they go now. And is the business any different? Has it progressed with the years or is it still some type of, we hear how hard it is in the music business to make it and to stay successful. How has it been for you? Well, I think, you know, when I came into this business, I came into, um, like I said, out of singing in church and and always wanted to be a gospel singer, but those doors never opening until and I met the late great Roger Troutman. And mm -hmm. I told him, thank you, but no thank you. Like I told everybody else when I had an opportunity to sing mainstream because I was really, it was my heart's desire to sing gospel. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, he said, we don't have any connections in that area, but if you ever want to give it a try, we want to help you. So I left there thanking God, why is this the only door that's opening for me? Mm -hmm. So like I said, I walked by faith through the open door and they taught me a lot of things. You know, he asked me a, a, real, a real important question. And that first question was, do you, you want a hit record or do you want a career? Mm. See, that's something you have to ask because they told me said hit records go up the charts and down the charts, but a career takes patience and you build a career, Amen. you know, line up on line, precept upon precept. And so um, even if you're, if, you know, if, as you're building, even if the record doesn't do anything, at least you're, you're, you're on a plateau until the next record or the next opportunity, you know, but records go up the charts and down the charts. And then Roger also said to me when, as we lay was on the top of the charts, he mm -hmm. said, listen, that record can't stay up there. 
There's all those records up underneath. I'm waiting to come there. He said, like, right now, you are the best thing since sliced bread, as far as the record company is concerned. You're the best mm-hmm. thing since ice cream. They'll name their kids after you. He said, but when that record comes off the charts, they're going to take your poster down, put somebody else's up, and you will be lucky if they accept your phone call. But this Jesus. is what you do. He said, you do a great record. He said, you follow that up with a great live performance, but this is the key. Stay touchable to the people and they will support you for the rest of your life. So here I am, 35 plus years down the line, whether I have a record or not, you know, by by staying touchable to the people, they've been supportive, you know, um, coming to the concerts, coming to the plays. uh, 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 When I'm ministering church, they're there. So just to support the people, you build that career, you build that fan base and you just continue to grow and it takes time. So, um, you know, again, my life has been a dream come true with with those nuggets, Mm. but but the difference between, to answer your question, the, the difference between then and now, is, you know, we were so desperate as young people, you know, to, to kick off our careers and to be signed to a label. Mm-hmm. Today, the, the industry has changed so much that your success does not really depend on having a record deal with a label. There are so many successful independent artists. Okay, okay. You I see, see. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. And, 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 and then you're also cutting out the middleman. So most of the cheese comes to you because you're not Amen. paying, you're not paying all these different people who's in cahoots with that person. So, you know, they'll turn you on to that person. They get a cut of that, the kickback and all that stuff. But you know, the great thing about today's artists is you have, you have access to the world wide web. If you can get Amen. Google issues and find out anything you want to find out. <laughs> you know? I love it. It's yours. It's Miss Murdoch's <laughs> word, but Google issues is her. Google issues, baby. You know? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? You can go online and take a master class on whatever yes, it is that you you're trying to do, whether it's writing, whether it's filmmaking, whether it's a uh, script writing, whether it is uh, uh, for music lessons, vocal lessons. Everything is at their fingertips. So if, if you have a desire, you got that dream, then you do the impossible. No, you do the possible and watch God do the impossible. The impossible. Do all that you know how to do. Do your Amen. if you look at a circle, do your half of the circle so God can come back and do the and do the part that you can't do. How about that? And it's been manifested. <laughs> okay, so in the power and two or more, we're gonna bring these dreams and these goals out. Especially oh, yeah. with oh, our yeah. COVID creatives. You know, a lot of people have been digging deep and pulling out their talents. Yes. To try to survive, try to supplement, um, not necessarily supplement, replacing income. Uh they're they're reinventing themselves. The people are really yes. digging deep and figuring out what who they are and what's God's purpose for them. Mm-hmm, okay? mm-hmm. And so even you said, I was I'm a child of God. I grew up with gospel. Gospel is my roots. However, I still have these talents. I can make a living, care for myself, my family. But at the same time, did you get any kickback? I mean, of course I did. Especially back then. Of course I did. I absolutely did. But you know what? I had to get, I had to learn how to be comfortable with what, with the call on my life, what God was calling me me to do. Mm. And it was, it was unusual at a time where, you know, there's more acceptance now. Like now you'll, you'll have many gospel artists doing uh, duets or, or featuring a lot of mainstream artists. You know, uh, I think somebody just had, I think it was the Clark Sisters and Snoop or, or yes. you know, they were on Snoop's record. Actually so, good record. But, <laughs> absolutely. But there was no, you know, it was not happening back in the 80s. Exactly. That was not going down. But for me, it's like, I don't separate my my spiritual life, my personal walk with God. I don't separate that out from my everyday walk. They're one and the same. Amen. And my, and, and my spiritual life informs me how to govern myself in my everyday life. So I, I've, <laughs> I've learned. And, and, and the thing is that, you know, <laughs> I, you know, when, when I was, when I was desiring to sing gospel, and like I said, those doors never open, I took gospel to where God took me. That's <laughs> said, meaning that all of my records always had a gospel song on it. Amen. Amen. In, in my performances. Well, you know who fought for me? Um, we were mixing the very first, my very first CD, the self, uh, the self-entitled Shirley Murdoch CD that had, uh, as we lay and going without you on it. When we were mixing that song, I said to Roger, who's my producer, Roger Troutman, I said, listen, this song cannot go out without me saying something to the Lord. And so he said, well, do you have something? I'm like, yeah, I had, I had a little, just a little short song. I don't even think it was what, probably maybe a minute and a half long. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. okay. And it's called my tribute. It says, I shall not forget what you've done for me. Yes, I shall God. not forget how you set me free. Everywhere I go, come on, let it. everyone will know <laughs> Jesus lives within my soul. Oh, Thank you for this time to say what's on my mind. You're everything to me my this tribute the record company did not want that song on the record but roger troutman and larry troutman who was roger's brother and my manager both of our managers they fought to get that record on that record on that album because they knew what it meant to me and it was on there and every record i've ever done since then always had a gospel song on okay. there because that's who i am all right, child of God, you, you had that door open for you. And I'm so grateful to hear it because a lot of times you hear there has to be a dividing choice. Okay, choose God or choose this industry and land where you land. Um, I did, I did, I did run into, into that case though. When, when I met Bishop T.D. Jakes and told him I never had an opportunity to sing gospel. You know, we talked to, he offered me opportunities to come to the Women There Are Loose conferences and I'm on a lot of his choir records. Mm -hmm. And he said, Shirley came to me one day and said, you never had an opportunity to sing gospel, but I started a record label and here is your opportunity, but you can't do both. I was signed to Warner Brothers at the time. And so I went to Roger and I said, listen, Roger, I finally have an opportunity to sing gospel. You know, that's my heart's desire. And I said, I want to be released from Warner Brothers. He said, baby, I'm not surprised. That's what you were doing when I met you. And he and my, my manager, Larry, went to Warner Brothers and, and got me out of that deal. And um, I signed to Bishop T.D. Jakes. And that put me um, you know, on that, tra that trajectory to uh, sing gospel. And I started yes. growing in ministry. Yes. And then as I stayed away from my music for like about seven years. And God just started give, giving it back to me, showing me how to use everything. Kelly, can you believe it? So Absolutely. he showed me, so so he and he, and, he, and 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 and, and he, I had to get what I call <laughs> the spirit of I don't give a jack cat to slap what anybody thinks about what God is doing in my life because he this is what I'm what called to do. If you have a problem with it, you got to take it up with God because I'm doing what He says to do. Okay, and so I now I'm ministering. I was always doing it even when I was in mainstream, but now I'm doing it with understanding and I'm yes, doing God. it in freedom. Yes, in freedom Lord. so that freedom is a beautiful thing and i will never be entangled again with the yoke of bondage of what people think the only person i really want to please is the lord the one who died for me the one who set me Come free on, so Murdoch. but 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 I, uh, but I understand i understand mm -hmm. the you know the uh the, you know the, the the problem because in the i think the pastors all they're trying to do is protect the sheep all they're trying to do is make sure that you don't get out there and cut the fool and lose your soul you know, but I think that we have to open up our hearts and our minds and understand re and remember that the Great Commission is go ye therefore into all the world and compel men to come. The church was never meant to be a hotel for the holy. It was always supposed to be a hospital for the sick. Amen. And that's where that's where the sick come in and get ministered to. That's where we come in and we and we encourage one another Absolutely. to go back out and live out what we heard and what was dropped down into our hearts. I'm so glad you said that because I try to make the emphasis clear, even on this show and on this platform, that we all have a God-given assignment. And then when we're ready to complete a God-sized task, we have to obey, we have to submit, we must give up a lot of things. And that's the ugly part because you're not going to want to stop being as trifling as you was. And then, <laughs> and I mean, it just comes down to it. Do I want to, some things I could change and some things I'd rather negotiate with God. And that's really yeah. not how the path goes. We all have a part in it. And I'm so grateful because mm -hmm. it's like we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Look at you, your platform. You're so high up with the industry and people that you're able to have access to. And then people will say, okay, I'm familiar with her name. Even if they've never been in the church life, now they're interested to the crossover because they're saying, oh, I remember her or she mm -hmm. just put a song out and now she's doing gospel. Let mm -hmm. me see but that's about now you yeah. brought more sheep to the flock and so i'm grateful for you oh shepherd of god for being here <laughs> this evening and to say that throughout my entire uh, career the lord set my foot on the right path you said that's right footsteps are ordered up. Mm -hmm. they were and you just pushed yourself forward and he did the rest and that is all that it is that's all that it is here in life we have to believe in our success and that is actually possible and we have to believe that god is going to let us have success at his timing and so most times we don't even know we're in training 
right? Amen. I call it boot camp. <laughs> boot camp. Oh, especially if you boot get camp, one of the crash courses, one of them trades, like you got 30 days to shape up. And you're like, okay, God, here I come. You know, you just, <laughs> it's but like, you know what? Right. I, I also heard this, this, this too. That's the process. God is processing you. And don't despise the process. If you despise the process, you can abort the purpose. Who wants to do that on purpose? You going around that mountain for 40 more years because you're not listening. Come on, I don't got years time years. for it. I don't got time for it. God is let, God is making a way. He opened a path just for you. Faith let me learn the first go round, you know? Or maybe the second, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Be patient with me, Jesus. I but get not it. 40 years. Not 40 years. I'm not, I'm not there for a generation or two to go no, down. No, no. I don't even get to see the promised land. I'm not there for that. But I'm <laughs> right. Ready for stories right and i'm grateful for these examples because that's what sets us straight that's what makes us understand that god really loves us god he really does. cares for us and that the only thing we have to do is just give him praise i'm going to keep giving you praise god for everything i have i'm going to keep sharing my testimony lord for everything that you've done i'm going to keep giving you love and praise lord god because without you i am nothing i could try Absolutely. i can cry i could wipe my face and everything <laughs> all day long because that's how i feel his love and the holy spirit mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. us i feel your spirit i feel it and i know just this from the very beginning you say and i'm here to bless god i'm here to praise god i'm here to show you guys how he is in my life but was you always this woman of god mm -hmm. you know what i gave my life to the lord when i was 15 years old oh, and it's been it's been an amazing journey and you know i didn't get a chance <laughs> to get into a lot of stuff because i gave my Good. life to the lord now, i'm not saying i haven't ever made mistakes yes i have but but thank god for the blood of jesus that eradicates right. the sin out of your life and the thing is is we grow in grace and we grow in knowledge and so you know uh the bible says when i was a child i acted like a child thought like a child but when i became a man it only means when i matured Amen. i put away childish things so and i've been married for, for, for 32 almost 33 years i That's met my husband I, I i got my record deal in 1980 three moved to uh, and moved 82 moved to Dayton in 83 met my my husband in 84 we be, we were friends and we started dating and getting closer four years later we got married and now we'll be celebrating 33 years of marriage in in, in June so I've been with my husband for for longer for as long as uh as, pretty much as long as I've been I've had my career he came into my life in the very in the very beginning of my career mm -hmm. that's a blessing right there and it is absolutely that's a blessing. Um, and shout out to all the married couples that have supporting spouses. Okay. All of those that are able to make it through life and to be encouraged. That, that's a beautiful story that you two are able to be this powerhouse for the Lord in your yeah. own lane, in your own yeah. platform. So, but again, you know, I, I don't want anybody to be confused. It's not, I, I'm absolutely not a perfect person, mm -hmm. but what I have is I have a heart towards God. Amen. And, 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 you know, and, and if, and if, if I go wrong, you know, if, if I, you know, I, I call it being led between the, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me mm -hmm. <laughs> because if we, if we're disobedient, that the, the Lord, he chastens his children, he chastens his children that he loves. Right. And that's that, that's that, that chastening rod. But, but, if, if, so but if you, but if, you know, <laughs> if, 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 if you go to the right and you, you know, and you don't realize that you're going wrong, he'll take that staff and just gently reel you in. So somewhere between thy right and thy staff, I'm on straight street, bless the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I like that because because exactly. I, I didn't like I don't like whoopings so it it don't no. take me a long time to get the lesson <laughs> and that's just the thing right there. Um when you have God's wrath upon you, you just got to sit there and take it. It's nothing you can do about it. It's nothing at all you can do about it. You can't fix nothing. You, can, you have to submit yourself to God. You have to come and come with him with your insurances. You have to profess your sins and so he can cleanse your spirit. And it works. But he's also forgiving. He's forgiving. Right. And he's, he's standing with his arms open, right, ready to forgive. With what we have to do is we have to repent. <laughs> when you exactly. say you're just, just say you're sorry, big head. That's all you got to do. There it is. There it is. <laughs> to shift gears real quick, we want to give yes. our listeners the opportunity to understand, to know what you're doing lately. So please let us all know what your new projects are. So right now I'm working on uh, my main project. The working title is called Life Songs mm -hmm. because I've always sung about life. You know, we're body, soul, and spirit. We're mothers and brothers and sisters. We're husbands and wives and aunties and uncles. And I just always... 
I just part of the problem that I have with the music industry is that they always try to put you in a little box, either your R&B, your gospel, your jazz, your hip hop, your whatever. But I, I, I want to do this, this, this next project to make it like a one stop shop, Amen. to make it like a buffet, you know, because uh, uh, I'm always going to include songs to the Lord, uh, inspirational songs that will that will undergird and build up your spirit and, and bring you to a closer relationship with God. But I'm, but I also want to include love songs, you know, for couples to be able to, you know, to reminisce and remember what love was like when it was new. You know, there's so many songs out, you know, in, in the airwaves you know, about sex, but, but we need songs that will, that will talk about, about having romance, putting romance back in a relationship. Absolutely. And, and not only that, but not only how to have a relationship, but to keep a relationship, to have some longevity, you know, and then, and because I come from a, a funk background too, you know, we gotta have a little funk in that thing, you know, have a little party party going on. <laughs> and I would, I would love to, at some point, maybe collaborate with some of the younger artists, whether it be a rapper or, you know, or a young singer, just to bring the generations together because I think that, you know, that's one of the things that's missing is that collaboration, that exchange of wisdom from the older generation and, you know, being able to show them how to have longevity mm -hmm. and to share with them how we make records and, and, and they have so much to give too. I also believe that every generation deserves their opportunity to express their, their lives and their truth in their own language. In the Absolutely. way that they speak, because when you think about it, mama and them didn't like our music either. They sure didn't. <laughs> but but why not ask them? Why not have a conversation and say, okay, now what's going on in this record? You know, why did you write this? Or what are you trying to say? You know, what are you trying to convey? And how do you want people to 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 receive this and respond to this? And 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 in the long run, how do you think people? How how can this enhance somebody's life? So, Amen. but I think that when we can make this exchange, I look at it like. Uh, runners of a relay a race okay amen, one person amen, has a, a a baton and they're running and there's a person in front of them waiting to get it but at some point they have to hold the baton together they have to run with it together otherwise they can drop it and the race is forfeited but amen. they hold on to it together and make that exchange can you imagine how powerful the industry would be if we could ever get together and make that exchange between old school and new school only God knows. <laughs> Drop your website for our listeners. Our website uh, is um, Shirley Murdoch Life Songs .com. That's the website. Um, I have a um, I'm on Instagram at Shirley Murdoch, the number four real R E A L. And on my Instagram, you'll also see the link for my YouTube channel. Uh, I have always do a weekly inspiration and we're putting up new content at, you know, as we speak. And um, I'm uh, at Twitter at Shirley Murdoch and I have a, a Facebook fan page as well. Amen. And our ministry page is uh, praying for you, P R A Y I N G, the number four Y O U dot O R G. Amen. Thank you, listeners. Please visit one of her sites or all of them. That's what we hope for. So you can get <laughs> all the new content and be able to keep in touch with Miss Shirley Murdoch. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We are blessed to have you. And awesome. Brave. And our, our, my new song is called People Get Ready. People get ready. We're going to play that on the end, closing out, actually. Awesome. Get awesome. Ready. Get ready. We're about to hear. Yeah. <laughs> the that, was project. that was inspired because of everything that was going on in 2020. You know, I grew up in a time when when musicians and artists would always, their music would reflect the time. But everything we've gone through in 2020, whether it was the social unrest, whether it was COVID, uh, uh, whether it was all the vitriol that was in the atmosphere, we wanted to put a deposit in the atmosphere that was positive, that, was, that would bring hope and healing and health. Help. So um, you don't need no ticket. All you got to do is get on board. People get ready. <laughs> Absolutely. People get ready. And that's going to be it for the Kelly Holland show. It's so weird. I'm saying this without saying Jay Royce. <laughs> but I'm so grateful. So, so grateful. thank you for joining us. Lord God, you've been a blessing to us and to all of our listeners. We ask that you continue to move through our listeners and through our guests and that all will be well within us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Jesus. Bread. Amen. 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 Thank you for going, joining us again. We're going to be closing out with your song. People get ready. Amen. Okay. <laughs> it's available on all streaming platforms as well.
Amen. So go out Thank and get you, that Kelly. now. No problem at all. Batman, I so appreciate you for putting this all together. You are the greatest producer ever. And never forget, audience, to tap back into your unspeakable joy. Good night, Amen. everybody. <laughs> Just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the train that's coming. You don't need no ticket. All you gotta do is thank the Lord. singer but not a singer singer i don't know about this baby let me tell you god gave you a gift a voice use it you get on that stage and you sing like you never sung before i got faith in you i believe in you and i know you believe in yourself so let's go ahead and give it a try amen It's your power, I'll be a living star.